Hi guys, I am home. I have been home for about a week or so now. It sucks being home and being at work, but since I'm home, you know what that means? That means it's haul time. I don't even watch haul videos and I've never really done a haul myself apart from like packing videos and stuff. So I'm just gonna show you stuff and talk about it because I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So here we go. I will start with the stuff that I got when I went to see Five Sauce in Tampa and West Palm Beach. If you don't care about Five Sauce, skip this part because it's gonna be all about Five Sauce. First of all, I got this jumper that I'm wearing. I love it. It was like $60 and I paid for it in the pouring rain but it came in very handy when it rained in Tampa because I was cold and I got to wear it. I thought it was going to be too small but I really like it and it's a really nice fit. I also bought this tank top um, which I thought was really cute because it's got like the American um, American flag. It's got a map of America on it. I just thought that was nice to buy because I did get to go and see them in America. I just wanted something that I could wear that would represent that. This is the poster that I bought from West Palm Beach. They've been doing um, limited edition posters for each show and a lot of them have been really really ugly and I was hoping so much that the West Palm Beach poster would be cute because I got the Belfast poster which was the very first show of the tour I went to. Fortunately this one was cute. The Tampa one was ugly as hell and I went nowhere near that but the West Palm Beach one, I really, really like. I think I'm gonna frame it and put it up next to my Belfast one. But finally, of course, my beach ball that I got from West Palm Beach. Obviously, I didn't buy this, but I did go all the way to the front. I literally ran to the front, got stopped by security here, who clearly thought I was trying to jump on the stage or something, and I'm literally stood there like, I just want a beach ball. Literally caught this, didn't even get someone to pass it to me. I caught it, which I think is really impressive. That's it for Five Sauce Stuff, so you can start watching again now. This is the start of our presents for our friend Amy, who is coming over today and I'm giving them to her, and this won't be posted till after that, so I can show you them. We got her the signed Hey Violet EP, because she loves Hey Violet. We got her this little Captain America pin, from Universal. I had to text her and be like, for no reason, who's your favorite Marvel superhero? And so she said Captain America and we got her this. We also got her some hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. I know everyone is obsessed with this hand sanitizer. We got her some little cute ones, Girlfriend and Vampire Blood. I've not smelt either of them, but I assume they probably all smell good. This is Wicked Plum and very scary. And finally, <laughs> the best thing that we got for Amy, we went to Walmart and this thing that I have in my hands now has been through a lot. It's glass and I had to travel and we thought we'd lost it and left it in the hire car and then I found it in my hand luggage so it's been a long way. I don't think there's any point in trying to explain this so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what this is. So this is a Jesus candle and today I stuck Ashton Irwin's face on it for her and I'm really excited to see her reaction to this later. <laughs> While we were at Walmart, I also bought a pack of 12 Chips Ahoy cookies just because it has five sauce on it. If you've watched the vlog where I'm trying to pack, I have a pile of cookies on my bed that are not gonna fit in my bag. Took them all out, flattened this and brought it home. So I'm really glad that I've got this now. <laughs> My best purchase from Walmart was when I was walking down an aisle and discovered that you can buy Panda Express sauce from Walmart. If you know me at all, you know that I am obsessed with Panda Express. It's my favorite thing to eat. Now I can have Panda Express orange chicken at home. So this is definitely the best thing that I bought all holiday and it was worth the wait in my luggage to bring this back. We went to the Mall at Millennia and we went to an outlet mall that was near Universal. Can't remember the name of it exactly, but I bought a few things at both of those. So I'll start with the outlet mall because that's where we went first. I always go to pay less shoes when I go to America because I really like the shoes that they have and I wanted some airwalks, but they didn't have any that I liked. So I ended up with these. I don't know what they are. They are city sneaks, which I don't know what that is, but I think they're really cute and they're really, really comfy. So they were like, 20, 25 dollars or something like that. So I'm really happy with that purchase because I got a new pair of cute shoes that I can keep wearing because they're so comfy. At the outlet mall, I also went to Forever 21. I was very reserved. And the next time I went to Forever 21 at the mall at Millennia, I didn't buy anything. So I don't know whether that's an achievement or if it's just really disappointing, but these are the things I did buy when I went to Forever 21. This I picked up, you know, when you get in the queue and they have all the things not by the tills and you're like oh maybe I should just pick something up like all the little mini things so I got this coconut body mist which smells really nice it smells really really nice however it doesn't 
stay, it doesn't like stick for long. I don't know if that's just because I was sweating everything off in America, so I'm gonna try it now that I'm back home, I've not worn it yet, but it smells really good. Also at Forever 21, I bought two crop tops. I am obsessed with crop tops at the moment. I would never have worn something like that in the past and I started wearing them and now I can't stop, so I bought two. This one was the deal of the week, so I was like, oh, okay, I'll buy that. And it's just black and white and stripey. I think this shape up here is a little bit, a little bit strange, but I still really like it. Um, so there's that one. There is also uh, this green and black polka dot crop top. Basically the same thing, but in a different colour. So I bought that and I'm obsessed with them both. I'm gonna move on to makeup now. So the first day that we got there, we went to Target and I bought three Essie nail polishes and I thought, great, this is the first three of a thousand that I'm gonna buy, but I didn't buy any more. I only bought three. So I think that's an achievement. These are the three that I bought. This is the one that I'm mm, less bothered about. It is high maintenance number 100 it's a really nice color but when i put it on my nails it just didn't like it didn't look like there was anything on there i don't know if i'm doing it wrong i don't know much about makeup or <laughs> anything like that so but it is a nice color though i'm gonna try again see how that goes 1129 leggy legend which is a really nice like bronzy goldy sparkly color i really like that one that's the first one that i put on my favorite one is 1131 frock and roll which is like a sparkly gray almost black nail polish which is my favorite i was wearing it before and i did mean to paint my nails so they would not look gross for this video but i did not have time um so that's my favorite one and i'm just obsessed with essie nail polish i also went to sephora at the mall at millennia and i spent 80 dollars but i don't think that's that bad first of all i bought this limited edition kat von d eyeliner which i'm wearing now it has changed my life it does not move all day like even in America where you're sweating and stuff and I've had a cold this past week and just nothing has moved so this if you have not got it and you want a decent black eyeliner that is gonna stay all day this is a life changer honestly I'm not ever gonna use another eyeliner again I also got the Kat Von D tattoo brow pen I don't know much about makeup as I've said I've got light brown I probably needed medium brown so I do have to go over my eyebrows a few times but again it stays all day doesn't budge so this I would definitely recommend as well finally when I was in the queue and going past all the mini things I got this Urban Decay makeup setting spray it's just a mini one because the large one was like 30 40 dollars or something like that and I was like I can't afford that right now so I just got this little one and it was really useful when I was sweating all my makeup off it made it stay so moving on to Disney and Universal I will start with Universal because I only bought a few things from there and then I have a bunch of stuff from Disney the first thing I bought was this unicorn which I have been wanting for years and I didn't buy it last time I went and I almost didn't buy it this time because my friend Jodie said that she had one that she'd bought off eBay that was way cheaper than this and I was like no I just need to get it while I'm there because it's probably fluffier than the eBay one. He now sleeps on my bed and I hugged him the whole seven hour flight back. I'm a 24 year old grown up woman and I have this unicorn and I'm obsessed with it. I also got this throw from Universal. I don't know really how I'm going to show you this. It's a Hogwarts throw. It was like $60 I think. It was worth the money. I didn't know if it was going to be but I love it. <laughs> I don't even know how to show you this. I'm just going to hold it up for a minute and not speak. Just bear with me. That's the Hogwarts throw. I don't know how much of it you could see but it's really like thick. It's not that soft but it's still really nice. I just really wanted like a new blanket, a new throw and I just kind of keep it on the end of my bed. Now on to Disney. So this is the, the largest portion of the haul and I have to start with these, which I'm just gonna place on my head because why not, it's a haul video. So these were the first purchase I made at Disney. I had a normal pair of mini ears that I showed you in my packing video, but I needed some sparkly ones and then I found these Halloween ones which matched my hair and were awesome and I wore them for the entire trip and I'm gonna wear them even when it's not Halloween because they're my favourite ears I've ever seen. These I did not buy but got during breakfast at Cinderella's Royal Table so you get a wand and you get a wishing star. We almost did not get wishing stars. Now I've got them and I'm gonna keep them because I really like them. Again, I'm a 24 year old woman. My magic band of course. We got put on there our names and then the month and the year that we've gone to Disney so I thought that's cute and just thought I'd show you that because I think it's cute. My favourite buy at Disney is this necklace. I bought a necklace like this in Paris 
at Disney years ago and I lost it when I moved and we found one exactly like it so it's just got an E and a little Mickey on it and I love it. I'm so happy to have it back in my life and I'm not gonna lose this one. <laughs> Unfortunately at Disney I started pin trading and I wish I hadn't because I spent so much money on pins. I was looking at the stuff I bought and I was like how did I spend so much money and then I then I realised. So I will quickly go through these for you. What did I buy first? I bought I bought this grape soda up pin first and then I bought a hidden Mickey mystery pack in which I got I think it was this orange Pascal and I was like oh my god I want all Pascal pins. So then I bought another hidden Mickey mystery pack and I got this blue Pascal. These two, the chaser and the pink one I traded for um, so I was really happy that I managed to get those two. This one I bought, which I think is incredible, this Pascal pin that literally says sassy on it. I'm obsessed with this one, this is my favourite one I've got. I bought this lanyard which came with princesses and the only princess I kept was Rapunzel because I thought I should since I was collecting Pascals. And then I kind of just expanded to collecting Tangled ones so I got this Flynn Rider one which is also really cool. The other ones I have, oh! I traded for this as well, which is Maximus from Tangled, so I was like, oh, I saw it on the pinboard and I was like, oh my god, I can get that one because it goes with everything. I had to answer a question about Tangled to get this one because the cast member had them facing backwards as like mystery pins, but she let you see them if you answer a question, so I ended up with Russell. So I thought, oh, might as well just collect up ones as well because there you go. I also have this Maleficent Apple and this Jack. They were both trades. Probably not going to keep them, probably will trade them on something else, but they were cute and they were the best ones I could get from the trade. So those are all my pins and I regret pin trading already but that's a thing now and I'm, I literally, I did a trade in the airport because there was a Disney store and they had pins. I did a trade in the airport. I got an aerial topper for my car because my Mickey one broke that I had years ago and I, I got this Jack one because I wanted zero but Jack was the best I could find so I got him and he's, I forgot that I had him actually so he's going to go on my car. I'm going to leave him out instead of putting him away and put him on my car tomorrow to go to work. And the last few things are just presents for people that are probably not going to see this video hopefully, or are going to see it after I have given them their presents. So I'll start with um, my mum. My mum loves jigsaw puzzles and so I was looking at all the jigsaw puzzles that I could see and I thought the coolest one to give to her would be this Haunted Mansion one because like it's a bit less like you know princessy and castly and stuff so I got her that which I'm gonna give her for Christmas. I'm cheating because I've already started Christmas shopping. We have some family friends who have two four-year-old twins and the last time I saw them they are obsessed with Frozen and I watched it with them and so when I went to the Frozen store at Hollywood, Hollywood Studios? I think that's where it is. I just bought everything for them so I got them this wand which, oh, does it need batteries? It needs batteries, so I can't show you it flashing because I can't be bothered to go and find any batteries. I got them this wand, I'm going to give them Snowflake Glow Wand. I also got um, these Frozen mini ears, which I thought were quite cute. And I'll be very sad to give him up. I got a Sven. My friend Jodie and her mum bought a Sven each, and then they took theirs home, and I've taken mine home. But I'm going to have to give him away, and he got a bit squashed, his antlers are a bit... So I'm just gonna like cuddle with him while I have the chance and then I'm gonna give him away to the twins. But I'm secretly hoping that they already have one so I can just take it home. Finally, the last two things that I bought are gifts for my friends Laura and James. They got married at Disney and then they just had their reception in London which I missed because it was the day after I flew out which I'm really sad about and I'm so sorry. But they asked me to pick them up the um, Animal Kingdom Starbucks mug so I did that. The other thing that I got them is a surprise and I will be posting this after I see them. Because they got married at Disney, I thought it would be nice to get them a photo frame from Disney that they can put like, I don't know, a wedding photo in or whatever they want to put in it. But it says Magical Memories um, and it's just, it's like a chalkboard. I got it from the shop at New Fantasyland um, next to Gaston's Tavern and I just thought that this was really cute too. That's everything and that is officially the end of Disney videos and Florida videos and ah I'm really sad about that. I've really enjoyed doing all these videos and I hope that you've enjoyed watching them too. I'm going to try and keep vlogging. It was really easy to do it when you've got something to film but obviously when you're working every day it's not so simple. So I'm going to London next weekend to see Fallout Boy and I'm going to the Fallout Boy pop-up shop. 
So I'm going to try and film that. Thank you so much for watching these videos and thank you to any new subscribers. Please comment because I would love to talk to you all and thank you to everyone who has commented so far and I hope that you stick around and watch my stuff that isn't related to Disney and Florida. And I know that I talk about five seconds of summer a lot but you'll just have to put up with that because I can't help it. I obviously was talking for too long because the camera shut off and just stopped recording. It's not out of battery, it's not out of space. I obviously was just talking for too long. So I'm gonna end it here. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.